welcome again to Valerie's Apron. Today I'm going to show you how I make my omelets. Now you could say, oh no, not another omelet video, that's too easy, whatever, but everybody does it differently and so I'm going to show you how I like to make it. I found by using Thrive Life freeze-dried food ingredients, you can add things to your omelet and make it so delicious so quickly. So, let me show you how I do my omelets. I start with fresh eggs and we grow our own so we have chickens and so I have some great eggs. Okay, crack two eggs into a bowl. Beat them up. Add some salt, some pepper, and beat some more. Okay, we'll set those aside for a minute. Let me show you how I prepare my vegetables. In a saucepan, I'm going to add some red peppers. I'm going to add some Thrive Life green onions and the Thrive Life freeze-dried chili peppers. I really like the chili peppers. I don't think they're too hot. Now, you'll notice I didn't have to chop. I didn't have to cut a tiny little piece of pepper and put the rest in the free refrigerator. So, save so much time. Okay, add a little bit of water to rehydrate the vegetables. Doesn't take very much. Just let that kind of work into the vegetables and rehydrate them. Doesn't take very long either. Now, look at all the time I saved. I didn't have to chop and cut and save little pieces of any of those vegetables. And there's many things you can use. There's mushrooms, there's regular chopped onions, there's green peppers, there's sausage. Okay, when the water is gone, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. That's less than a tablespoon. Just let that cook in a little bit. I like the flavor, plus it also helps these great non-stick pans that still stick. <laughs> okay, spread out the vegetables a little. Now take your eggs, give them another little whip. Pour it into the pan. Spread out the vegetables a little so they're even in the pan. And then I add some cheese. I like um, white cheese. This is a mozzarella provolone blend. And my husband likes cheddar, so when I do his, I usually put cheddar in there. And I like to add a, pan, a lid. I think it steams it, makes it cook the top a little better without getting it so brown on the outside. So we'll let that cook for a couple of minutes and then come back. Okay, that's been cooking for two minutes. And I'm just gonna go around the edge of the pan, make sure it's all loosened. It's still a little bit soft on the top. So, just kind of put your turner in there and give it a flip on its side. Ooh, doesn't that look good? All those green and red vegetables that I didn't have to chop. It took me just a few minutes to scoop them out and put them in the pan. it over. 
Just let it cook a little bit more. Make sure we get the inside all nice and done. To your pan onto your plate and there you have it okay here's my omelet the best part about this omelet is I didn't have to cut up vegetables I didn't have to take all that time I just scooped a little out and it's great for making one omelet um, it's cheesy and yummy and the vegetables taste just like fresh Join me later for more Thrive Life videos and Valerie's Apron. Subscribe and like, and I hope you look forward to having more shows from me. Thank you.